Hey everybody, this is Tom with Nothing Soft Studios. I'm going to walk through a tutorial for a new tool that we built. It is called the Boundary Tool. Uh, we wanted to find a way to quickly um, procedurally generate um, collision fields so we didn't have to spend time positioning colliders everywhere and tweaking it and all that uh, horrible time sync stuff. So here goes. This is a new window. I'm going to go ahead and move it over here. Uh, the first thing we do is we have to create a parent to hold all the data. Now this is actually going to generate uh, a game object that's hidden from you. You don't have to worry about it. Um, as you can see in our hierarchy tab right here, we really have nothing. We have a camera, the player, and then the geometry you see there. So the boundary data, uh, the settings uh, just kind of apply generically to the entire editor. Um, there's some documentation that goes here, but I'll quickly run through them. Um, click to create. That checkbox is for actually part of the generating um, the segments for the collision fields inside of the scene view. Uh, we'll get to that when we actually add a group to hold the data. Lock selection, uh, that'll prevent you from um, rigorously clicking around here. That'll prevent you from accidentally uh, selecting another object and doing something you don't want to do. That's only when this tab is, is visible. If we come back over um, at this point, I can uh, select other things. So uh, scene overlay, we'll actually get some uh, on-scene visuals here once we start adding stuff. Draw active group only. You can have many groups. This is kind of how we uh, um, categorize it all. You can have a group for room one and a group for room two. And if you have this checked, whatever your active group is will be the only thing that's rendered. So if you have a lot of groups, you can kind of filter everything out very quickly. Update in play and editor. When we're actually play mode, uh, we can tweak uh, the, the fields and um, it will regenerate the collisions on the fly. Um, this will only happen during the editor it won't actually run even if you leave this checked and you build it won't it won't execute unless it's the actual editor draw handle size uh, I'll leave that till we have something on the screen um, default height the group when we create a group that's the default height that our segments will be generated at um, height is a group of property so let's go ahead and add a group we're gonna do this first room right here um, now, in order to do this before, I would have to take, I would have to generate one, two, three, four, five, uh, five, five different game objects with, uh, you know, box box colliders. Then I'd have to rotate the game objects and position them, and then size each collider. That that's the crude implementation. Um, it can be tedious. So we're gonna and add a group. Um, we'll name it um, Room A. Uh, I'll I'll leave it at three. And the color, I'll leave the color. So now I can just start here, and the the hotkey for adding the segments is B. And when you first start, obviously you need two points to make a a, a line segment. So you get a message saying um, select a second point. So there's the first point, segment two, three, four, and five, and we'll go ahead and include this little hallway here too. So that was a matter of seconds, and if I play it now, you can see I am actually locked in, and I can fall off here. So that's cool. Uh, we can cover the handle size real quick. So handle handle size is three. So this can get crazy when you zoom out. Um, if I have handle size 30, you can zoom out and the handles get crazy big. This just gives you a little property of um, to control to say, eh, I want to I want to set my own threshold of 
how big or maybe I, I, I only want it to be really small and show up so maybe I have a lot of objects that I'm placing and I'm actually doing environmental um, like scenery and I don't want to accidentally click on a, a handle or whatnot and I don't and I still want to see the colliders so see now I have to get in really close to see those uh, or I can just turn it off completely So I'm going to set this guy back. Uh, the height field real quick. We can scale the height of our collider. So if it's a really tall room or really short. Alright, and you can see our active group is actually group A because we just added it. When you add a group, it defaults to that as the active group just to kind of speed up the workflow. and there's group two so this blend together a little too much so making a nice bold red so there we have uh, completely encapsulated the the planes to essentially make like a platformer type um, level boundary now when we play it, this is the play and editor. So let's say I go to this corner here. Right now I cannot pass through it. Um, I can just slide it up and we're regenerating that and now I can fall through. So it'll reset just like any other component. Um, if you want to go in and let's say really spend the time to tweak everything and let's say we did want that up here and you don't want to lose your stuff you can use the same old trick for anything else switch back to the inspector and this component right here uh, copy component and when you stop it uh, you can just repaste those values and then all your changes are there now, as far as um, editor support, it, it still supports all the undos and everything. So if I delete a group, I can control Z, get it back. Uh, if I delete the whole thing, you know, I can bring it all back. And that's, that's uh, our initial release. So we have other features that were planning on adding um, this is just something that really sped up our our time and we wanted to get it out to everybody because we feel it's a very useful tool um, feel free to uh, contact us at the link um, if you have any questions comments um, suggestions uh, feel free thank you